Ooh. I don't know if we mentioned earlier, but this area is actually quite a known spot where crocodiles like to hang out, so. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Tulagi. Tulagi is right in the Florida Islands, which is right in the middle of Guadalcanal and Malaita. This was pretty much like the site of like big battles here during World War II. It used to be the capital of Solomons. Prior to World War II, the Solomon Islands were about as far away from civilization as it gets. But in April of 1942, the Japanese Army and Navy began an operation to capture Tulagi to extend their southern perimeter and establish bases to support future advances on Nauru, Ocean Island, New Caledonia, Fiji, and Samoa. All of this to cut the supply lines between Australia and the United States in hopes of reducing Australia as a threat to Japanese positions in the South Pacific. Over the course of six months, the waters between Guadalcanal and Tulagi saw some of the fiercest battles of the South Pacific and devastating loss of life and military craft. This corner of the ocean became known as the Iron Bottom Sound because it is littered with the wreckage of ships, planes, and even a submarine. Accounts from locals who lived through the war, dive expeditions, and major projects spearheaded by Dr. Robert Ballard, the man responsible for uncovering the Titanic, has led to the location and identification of many of the wrecks here. But it's estimated that the remains of at least 50 different vessels have found their final resting place at the bottom of the Iron Bottom Sound. Grasping everything that happened in this place is an undertaking you could dedicate your whole life to. But a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and our first step would be a pretty incredible one. Oh nine. Six, three, one, nine. What's going oh, on, nine, guys? Oh, we are trying to locate a shipwreck, and we found some GPS coordinates online, and we're just double checking that we have the right information. That's always one of the interesting things about oh, yeah. diving on your own, is you read online, or you hear a rumor, or someone gives you the coordinates, and you never really know what you're gonna find, or if you're gonna find it. Can you smell the shipwreck, Ocean? Tell us which way it is. No, the ship right there! That's the way! way. <laughs> so we're at the GPS coordinates and we don't think it's right because according to what we heard in the dive shop, it should be 40 meters deep, but we're in 20 meters of water, which is not nearly deep enough, so we're starting to question our information here. What exactly are we looking for? Um, we're looking for a Japanese uh, flying boat, is what they call it. It's a water plane. It's the Japanese called it H6K, that was the name. And in 1942, the Japanese had um, a base on these two islands. And so in this area, they had about 10 of those planes on mooring balls, so they just sat on the water. And in August of 1942, the US attacked these two bases here and Honiara at the same time. The wreck we're looking for is pretty intact because it just sat on the water and then it just slowly sunk once it filled with water. So it should be a good dive if we find it. Think of wreck diving and at least for me, for, for years I only thought of shipwrecks, but it's cool to be diving another type of wreck plane. Is this little bump that we just went over. I don't know if we mentioned earlier, but um, this area is actually quite a known spot where crocodiles like to hang out, so and that could be interesting too. If we don't find the wreck, maybe we'll find a crocodile's yeah. face. We will. You got it? You got it. Woo! Put it forward a little bit. Nah, come on. We didn't work out today. This truck is going to work out today. I don't want to be in the top water by myself. <laughs>
Scuba diving has taken me to some pretty unbelievable places over the years. There are few opportunities in the terrestrial world to visit an undisturbed battle site preserved in time. But down here, 120 feet below the surface, we are privileged enough to witness the beautiful transformation of a machine once built for war into a work of art, sculpted and reshaped by the ocean into a thriving ecosystem, bringing life instead of loss. Unfortunately, our time was up quickly on this dive because it was quite deep, but we wanted to see more. So we enlisted the help of Bob from a local dive shop to show us another World War II airplane, this time from the Allied Forces. The Catalina is a US uh, built seaplane, uh, high wing twin engine monoplane, used mainly during the war for VIP transport, reconnaissance and search and rescue. This particular one was on its way to um, Manawatu when it took off had engine failure and crashed right here, killing one person. And that person just happened to be on his way back to stateside as war was finished. Um, in fact, he died here, so a little bit sad for him. However, the wreck sits down on the reef here below us uh, with the nose at 26 metres and the tail down on the sand about 33. This Catalina seaplane had a much different feel to it than the Mavis. Because the plane actually crashed from the sky rather than being sunk from the surface, it had a lot more of the mechanical elements exposed and ripped apart, revealing some stunning details both inside and outside the wreck. We had barely begun to scratch the surface of the history of the Iron Bottom Sound, but so far it had lived up to its reputation as one of the best wreck diving destinations in the world. We had many other dives on our list while we were here in Tulagi, but unfortunately some other duties called first. The last few weeks had been a whirlwind of mind-blowing landscapes, world-class diving, sharing culture, and pure cruiser bliss. But living on a sailboat is rarely so peaceful and easy. And in the meantime, our to-do list on Sylphia was growing and growing. So today we decided to tackle some of the most pressing items. And luckily for us, many hands make light work. But first, we had to get in some morning workouts. Peanut Ea. Yes. Why is Peanut so sleepy right now? Because he's been running around like crazy with me. I exhausted the pig, basically. <laughs> <laughs> she was active and like, willing to run and I was about to train so I said like okay let's let's uh, you know how do you say like the kill three... two birds with one stone yeah, that's it <laughs> It's a hot, muggy, moist morning here in Tulagi, and there's lots of stuff going on on Sylphia today. We've got lots of projects. Let's go see what everyone's up to inside. We've got quite the to-do list. I'll show you what our projects are. Here is our to-do list for the day. We've got quite a few jobs, and everyone's name is next to the jobs that they're gonna be working on today. Nerea, what's your duties for the day? Mosquito nets. Yeah, uh, we are getting uh, eaten by mosquitoes in the last couple of days, so I think everybody will appreciate having mosquito nets in the doors, in the windows. Yeah, and it's uh, quite a high risk for malaria all through this yeah. moment. Uh, fixing the toilet leak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a big job. Making some curtains for when we are editing upstairs and it's the sun is like pouring on us. Island fabric that made pictures in Vanuatu. I'm also going to change the cushions. Cushion. 
cushions? Yeah. We're gonna change the cushions. Cushions. We're also <laughs> gonna change the cushions. Cushions. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's my project of the day. Hopefully I'll make my grandma proud today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you my job for today. I am going to be organizing the back cabin because we <laughs> lost a charger for a tool and we literally tore apart the entire boat looking for it. So the back cabin is in quite a state of disaster, as you can see here. There's literally stuff everywhere. And so my job today is to put it back where it belongs. You're gonna see now that that's the worst job ever. Oh. Here's coming all the bad smell. Oh. We use the flash, sometimes it comes out here, the water, then goes down to the back cabin. We yeah. also repair this uh, with ah. the new cockpit. So now we are gonna, we have to fix the principal or the main problem. How are you doing? I am good. <laughs> we are working on this. It is a little warm right now. It feels like I just got out of the ocean. That is my sweat. That's <laughs> this. It's gonna go through this to hold this because we broke, broke this. Yes, okay. I am working on this. Our compressor has pumped too many tanks, which is a good thing. But what's going on is we have blown out this capacitor. So uh, you're making like a rack yes. for the wetsuits in the back? Uh, yeah. Per usual, we have one crew member who's always the hardest at work. You can always count on her. Oh, look at this little shoes! We have an entire bed full of like donation, like linens and clothes and shoes and stuff, which is really great for trading in the islands. We can trade um, our old clothes for stuff like fruits and vegetables, which is very cool but sometimes it's hard when people ask for a specific thing that they want and you can't find it. So right now I'm going through all of our donation clothes and I'm separating them into men's and women's. Kitchenware, and shoes, and linens so that when people want to trade, it's a little bit easier to find what you want. This project's done, re -caulking. Good job guys, you guys did great. Nice. Yeah. All right, closing time. Wrap it up. Yeah. Good morning. Look at this sunrise. <gasps> Peanut. Hey, big girl. What a good pig. Should we go wake up, Daddy? Our Will is leaving us. He's been selected to be a photographer for um, a nonprofit project in Nepal, which is very cool. We're very proud of him. We're very excited. Um, but we're sure gonna miss him. Um, when Will leaves, Chloe will be the only one left from our original crew, which is pretty crazy to think. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot has happened in six months. And Will has been there for all of it, so. We'll be really sad to see him go. Will does a lot on the boat for us. Um, he's a really good sailor. I can always trust him. I know in the middle of the night when it's his watch, I know that everything's gonna be fine on the boat and I can sleep well. And he has a way of finding like the little things that bug everyone and finding like, clever ways of fixing them. He's a great videographer and a great photographer. Um, he's turned into quite a great scuba diver, so. We love you, Will. We're gonna miss you. We wish you only the best of luck and happiness on your travels and your adventures. Yeah, Emily patched oh, this yeah, up. So what was the actual flag? Like, what is the actual part of his flag? This, this Just is this supposed part. to be black, not like <laughs> pinkish, blackish. And this was like a tattered thing. And on the normal flag, there's red. Where did you get the red from? A pillowcase. 
So we've touched it with a little bit of uh, Vanuatu love. Tropical Belgian. I think it's better like this. I'm going to propose it to the king. Is it, is it hug time? Yeah. Bus busted. Keep the boat floating. Keep the people <laughs> learning. <laughs> we will keep in touch. Maybe we can uh, enjoy a good time in the Basque country yeah. or in yeah. Belgium. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah, like this. Oh, would you let me know if I, I don't know if I still know how to live my life outside of the boat. It's a lot of work and there's a lot of things to do. So I feel like there's a lot of freedom to be had out of the boat. But on the, at the same time, maybe a bit too much. Like, you will wake up and like, what's, just, what's there to do today? <laughs> Not much, really. <laughs> Have to go to a mountain spring in the middle of the crack between two islands and hook up six hoses to shore and take it on the dinghy and tie the floats to it. You just go and you just turn the tap on and you take a long shower and you you buy your cheese and you do all the stuff that you want to do. It'll be will be different for sure, but um, I, I'm very happy that he can go on a new adventure and I think it's going to be very rewarding for him. <laughs> so have fun today because the, this lovely couple is going to Honiara yeah. to have to spend their last night together. Yes. It's going to be sparkles in the in the sky. To get me back to you It's hard, eh? Always yeah. to say goodbye to crew members. Yeah. It's like a little piece of the puzzle. You lose a little piece of the puzzle. Sylvia will be different for sure. Sylvia is always changing, I think, for sure. Like every crew is adding something or, yeah, so whenever people go, it's always Aww. different. Join us next time in the wild Tokyo Bay as we pay a visit to one of the premier shipyards in the Solomon Islands to do some repairs, and we check out another iconic shipwreck of the Iron Bottom Sounds. Yesterday evening we saw we thought we saw crocodiles, but then it appeared to be cabbage. Cabbage, yeah, then it appeared to be cabbage. So we were laughing a bit last night, Chloe, because um, it's garbage. And you kept saying cabbage. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what's the only one? We were like, we were like, can you see that? It's cabbage. Yeah. It's cabbage. It's cabbage. <laughs> no, I guess. I don't see any cabbage. Crocodiles. Yeah. Yeah. Like a pussycat eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Peanut the Selling Pig, and I'm on a vlog as well. So today, uh, my mom taught me how to sit with some treats, and I'm very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Should we demonstrate? Favorite words. <laughs> okay, you ready, Peanut? 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 Sit? Peanut? Sit? Oh. Good girl! Yeah! What a good piggy! Yeah, 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 yeah. And Nerea's boob falling out of her. You'll see behind me, So graceful. Alright, here we go. Mm. Explosive farts. <laughs> Ripping the cushions open. I mean, that used to belong to Sylvan, and he's yeah. like the master of farts. Yeah. I've never smelled someone like that. So I, I, I think he's uh, behind like most of the holes that yeah. were on the, cu the cushions. Cushions. Yeah. cushions. <laughs>